Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, I've gotten a request for this. I considered it myself. This is the continuation of the series, with this being the Stormblood stuff. As you can tell, I'm doing it using the New Game Plus system, which is actually pretty nice. And hence why it says this right here. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the, me continuing the ninja storyline up to level 70. Not all at once. Obviously, that'd take a little while, but without further ado, Aburo look as the man. That's a great start. Aburo has the look of a man who has seen better days. Oh, alas and alack, whatever am I to do? Ah, Katarina, as a shinobi, I am loath to admit this, but I did not see you come in. Truth be told, I have been somewhat distracted of late. Princess Yuki, it would seem, sent a letter to my village, praising us for her efforts on her behalf, thus revealing my story of an injury preventing me from making the journey home for the ruse that it was. But my shame is not that I have been summoned back to the village, but rather quite the opposite. Despite knowing that I am hale and hearty, my, old, or my elders seem to be in no particular hurry to welcome me back into the fold. Should the time come when we have need for you in Doma, we shall summon you. Until then, you are to remain at your post and do all in your power to aid our countrymen in Eorzea. Such were their words. Is this how far I have fallen? Am I as a falcon bereft of its claws? A dull blade tossed to the wayside by its master? For all I know, I have been all but exiled to this place. I am sorry, Katerine. Heaven knows that you did not come here to listen to my griping. On a brighter note, I just received word from Captain Jack. It would seem some Easterners are causing something of a stir. I suppose I should be grateful that someone still has need of my service. Anyhow, it would seem the Kami have led you here at the, a most opportune time. Would you care to accompany me? I thank you, my friend. Let us make for Limsa Liminsa and see what our friends at the Rogues Guild would ask of us. Okay. And here we are. Yes, I would like to enter the Rogues Guild. What you got to say, Jack? Well, if it ain't the Dimber's Damber of them all, I trust you been keeping your stabber sharp. What with you and Oboro on the job, I reckon I'll be Bob afore the light man's comes round. Here's where we stand. One of me little birds in the Kraken's arms came chirping to me a story about some dolmens who I reckon are breaking one code or another. Seems they, the Krakens that is, were out snitching the eastern seas when they grabbed a vessel flying garly in colors, as they're wont to do. But then came the rub. The crew claimed to be dolmen, ye see, and upon whittling their captor's identity, they changed tack, begging for asylum on Orizian shores, and offering the entirety of their cargo and full return for safe passage. Call him a Bene Cove or a fool, the Kraken captain took the self-styled domans up on their offer, offer stowing the eastern treasures and the easterners themselves away in the hold they set sail for Limsa. But after pulling into port, a funny thing happened. No sooner had the Krakens dropped anchor than the refugees put on their best beater cases and skulked off into the dead of dark mans, leaving all their treasures behind. All their treasures save one. A scroll of sorts that had been hiding in a corner, all inconspicuous. Uh, Carvey Lane reckons that these Doman refugees have played us for some rum fun, and they're off selling the scroll in the black markets for good blunt even as we speak. I see, so you would have us recover the scroll in question, and bring the thieving Domans to justice. I am honored to lend what aid I can, and yet I cannot help but wonder, just what could be about this scroll that to make it so valuable to my countrymen. Well, we're not going to whittle the scrap just sitting around here on our daddles now, are we? Let's snilch town and see what common coves in the morts have seen. Katerina, why don't ye play go pay Itawan a visit at the wench? If there's any rumors going around about any shifty Easterners, like as not that mort would know. You do remember what to order, I, Of course a dimber dimber like yourself would. Good luck out there and keep your waddles open. We'll be waiting for ye in Bulwark Hall when you're through. I Ah, if I remember correctly, there's a few options, but one of them is a weak booze? Something like that? It's been a while. That's all I gotta say. It's been a good while.
So, let's go have a little bit of a look-see. I cut out the teleport in the initial run, but this isn't far enough for me to care. Say that. And hopefully you can't hear my keyboard. Welcome to the Droning Wench. What's your pleasure, miss? Uh, a week A. Ah, you must be here on business. Perhaps I could offer you something from our underground menu. Now, what's your fancy? Guests from the Far East, you say? Oh, sorry, just East. Uh, why, yes, I do believe we had some visitors not long ago matching that description. They left shortly before you arrived. I make a habit out of pricking my ears up to catch our patrons every whisper, but the party in question required little such effort. Why, they were shouting of tales, shouting of tales of riches and glory in a roar that could wake the dead. Said they were on their way to Wineport to make the transaction of a lifetime, though they weren't keen on going into detail. Just between us, I wouldn't be surprised if there was something less than savory about their business. Speaking of savory, can I interest you in our seafood stew? Okay, we'll work all... Oops. So our lads are headed to Wineport, eh? Been a work, Katarina. Remind me to slip a toll on some extra blunt the next time we stop by the wench for libation. That said, something doesn't sit right with you. Tackling their plans for every drunkard and tavern wench to hear, I reckon our friends might be looking to amuse us, if you whittle my guess. Keep your eyes open and your stabbers sharp. Arr. Wineport. Wineport. One simple teleport away. Oh god, more Jack speech. Let's go. Well, there's a bleeding surprise. The code-breaking curs have already bit the blow and hopped the twig with a caravan's worth of bingo in tow. Word is they were last seen beating a path for Bloodshore. But what could they mean to wait a bleeding moment? What if the grog's not meant for selling but keeping their throats wet on a long voyage? I reckon our lads are trying to smuggle the scroll home. There's no time to lose. Let's brush off our beater cases and make for Bloodshore all quick like. Boro and I'll snitch the north side. Katarina, you take the stuff. We have to catch these curs before they slip from our daddles for good. I apologize for my reading a little too fast. But I, I guess that's the only way I can stop myself from screwing it up and okay. overthinking. And we're coming up on them. You just had to poke your nose in our business, eh? Guess you leave us no choice. Oh, should have done this. Let's say, are you going to do it? Oh. Wait, do I even have that skill at this level? I mean, it doesn't really matter because it uses the same thing, but... Nope! Oh, wait. I may not have been synced for this. That's probably where they died instantly. <laughs> Okay, and here is Jack and Boro. Loading, loading, loading. Let me guess, you came upon a couple of rough-looking coves. These coves came waving their stabbers in my face before I could edge in a word. I reckon twas the same for you. The scroll is nowhere to be seen, nor is anything resembling a ship. I did not know better, I would say they were a simple group of ruffians enjoying their ill-gotten grog. The dim one sees, but does he truly see? No, these unfortunate men were but pawns in a grand scheme, as disposable as the bottles that now litter the shore. Meanwhile, your true quarry has... Oh, wait, I guess this is not who I thought it was. Black market here. Uh, your true quarry has boarded a trader and sails for Kugane even as we speak, under the auspices of the East Aldenard Trading Company, no less. So cunning a scheme, I wish I'd thought of it myself. Or did I? <laughs> but it might be Karasu. Hmm. How do you know all bugger me? You're the code from the House of Sticks. 
No, it's not. It is Karasu. Okay, I'm not insane. She continued with the theatric. Karasu Redbeak? Childhood friends turned bitter enemies, then friends once more, reunited after far too long. Our hero returns and the audience swoons. Oh, what a joyous day! Or is it? I'll say this much, dim one, for once you've managed to surprise me, to think that the oh-so-serious Aburo would lie to his elders to avoid having to make the journey home, only to find he wasn't welcome to begin with. Oh, the irony of it all. Enough of your preening and prattling, Karasu. I want answers. How did you know we were here? Just what is your connection to the thieves we pursue? Ah, you mean the thieves who already eluded your clumsy grass, just as I am about to do. I fear that is a story for another day. Ah, I have the slippery bird, that one. That deft rook's an acquaintance of yours? That's news to Jack Swaddles. Meanwhile, we've got our work cut out for us, but we still want to gravel that scroll. Is there anything we can have a few wid- er, Is there anywhere we can have a few wids, you know, secret light? Say no more, Captain Jack. As luck would have it, our base of operations is but a short walk from these parts. Katarina, pray join us at the storehouse. I don't know why, my throat's a little rough right now. So, I apologize. Okay, into the dock storehouse where the ninjas hide. Hide? Kind of hide. Arasu Redbeak. Of all the places I thought our search might lead us, never in my wildest dreams did I think it would lead us to him. Come square with me, Oboro. Just who is this Karasu Cove? Do we trust him? Or is he like us not to stick his stabbers in our back the moment we turn a blind eye? No, I mean, yes, I mean, he's neither, or both. Perhaps I should say it's complicated. Judging from your reaction, it sure seems as much. Anyway, if our men have set sail... Uh, okay, have set sail for Hingashi, I reckon we have no choice but to do the same. I wasn't exactly preparing for a long voyage, but damned if I'll leave this job half done. That said, shamed as I am to admit it, this old Jack's first journey to the Far East. Window Kugani from a rum doxy's arse, and I don't know a rogue what can do his work without knowing the lay of the land. Worry not, Captain Jack. I have traveled there on many an occasion to pursue the tools of my trade from the finest Hingen artisan. It would be my pleasure to serve as your guide. Your presence would be most heartening as well, Katarina. Gone is a city where anything can happen, and there's no telling what dangers await us there. I'll agree with that, but mind ye, Katarina is a right busy mortal. What say we do, the, do it this way? Aboro and I will go on ahead and we'll send for you once we've nilched out the place and worked out our next plan of action. A reasonable plan, Captain Jack. In that case, Katarina, pray check in at the storehouse from time to time. I will send word to Yome when we require your services. In the meantime, may the Kami guide you in your training. Okay. The first quest took a little bit longer than I'd anticipated, so... Oh yeah, because it goes straight to... 63. So, we will pick up on that one next time. Have a good day.